Based off of my dramatic intro, if you guessed that I'm in Paris, you would be correct. This amazing city of architectural elegance and excellence has so many amazing sites to visit. But in this video, I am highlighting the grand dam of them all, Versailles. Now this city within a city, manor, sprawling estate, you name it, it is everything in terms of residential gaudyism. It is over the top, it's Baroque, it's so many architectural styles. I'm gonna give you the background historically on what makes it so interesting. Versailles was once the seat of French government and also the French monarchy. Versailles was brought to life by Louis XIV, the famed Sun King. Now, the area where Versailles is, is actually named Versailles. But before it was built, it was a small, sleepy little hamlet outside of Paris. And by the time it was completed, it was a population of about 60,000 people. Louis XIV's predecessor, Louis XIII, had a hunting lodge where the current palace stands, but it was the XIV who expanded Versailles to its current state of grandeur. Versailles is modeled after the Baroque style of architecture. The French were heavily influenced by the Italian Renaissance which happened between the 14th and 15th centuries. This era influenced more than just architecture, but culture, a way of thinking, a way of living. The Renaissance architectural influences can be seen throughout the palace such as the golden gilding, the stucco arabesque, painted vaults and trompe l'oeil which is a way of painting to give three-dimensionality to flat paintings. Many people the world over know Versailles for its Hall of Mirrors and there's a very smart reason why this actual hall has so many mirrors. So Versailles was very dimly lit to protect all of the ornate paintings and what the Hall of Mirrors did was it reflected the candlelight to enhance the lighting in the space. During special events some 20,000 candles and glittering chandeliers would be lit to transform the Hall of Mirrors into the corridor of light. Versailles is pure architectural theatrics and what I mean by that is the floor plan is designed directly around the king, Louis XIV. Every room revolves around his bedroom quarters, the thousands and thousands of square feet, square meters all revolve around this centralized space. Even the gardens revolve around that central room. And speaking of gardens, while I was visiting, there were torrential rains outside, so I was not able to actually explore the 30,000 acres of pristine, beautiful French gardens, which is more reason for me to revisit.
if you enjoyed this tour of Versailles, make sure to subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube for more architectural videos and follow my travel journey on Instagram for more photographs of my world travels through the lens of architecture.